as I get older, I look back on more of my years. And I think to myself, wow, like 27 years ago, I moved to Charleston, South Carolina from here, from where I'm living now, to start a job that I still, at a company that I still work for today. And that's a little bit of what I want to talk about today. For caregivers, check with your company. Now, there's always FMLA or intermittent FMLA. And that, in the United States, that basically says you can't be fired for taking time off to care for someone, whether it's a baby or a family member or yourself. So if you take FMLA, it covers you getting your job back when you return to work, when you're recovered or whatever. But time off for caring for... Uh, an aging parent or for caring for someone who is dying, whether it's a child, an adult, a close person like an aunt or uncle, a grandparent, um, someone who's like a parent to you, that's, that's a thing. And um, a lot of companies don't have clauses about that. And I know a few people who are caring for family members who are stuck in a situation where they take their sick days, their, well, we get not, nothing, it's all the same, PTO, so they take their vacation days to care for someone, um, take their vacation days when a family member is dying and you are there to be with them. So check with your your company and see about what the heck, you know, like, are we going to start something that has something to do with caregiving? Because it's a thing. It is the 21st century. And uh, we need to be paying attention to that.